exploring, understanding, and celebrating the natural world of the San Francisco Bay Area. Bay Nature on the air. This tifoni or honeycomb weathering, it's a form of chemical weathering. Well, tifoni is common along the coast where you get salt spray spraying up onto the rocks. And you can see these interconnected cavities and smooth uh, rounded holes in the rocks that often have a repeating pattern. It's incredibly beautiful. By repeated wetting and drying and, uh, and saw crystal formation, you end up with this honeycomb pattern. You know, you can find tifoni in various environments on the Earth's surface. Geologists love to go out in the field, look at things, and try to figure out how they formed. <laughs> they haven't decided officially how tifoni is formed, but I'll give you the latest theory. The formation is of a sandstone, a lot of little sand grains that are cemented together. These rocks get thoroughly saturated in the wintertime, and then they actually get to dry out in the summertime. These slightly soluble compounds slightly dissolve, and in the summertime, the water will wick to the outer edge of the rock. And when it does that, these hardening compounds that hold the sand grains together migrate slightly to the outer edge. The outer edge of these rocks become very hard, and the interior is very, very soft, friable, it falls apart easily. As time goes by, though, you get this, what's referred to as a differential erosion. Fast erosion, and then you get these odd-looking holes. You get this, what's called fretworks. No one's proven it. Living in California, it is incredibly beautiful. I love to explore the outside world and, and take people to these fabulous spots. I love to share these with people.